words in Kiefer's mouth. I mean, he's trying to help us here, right? You, you love Christina. I do love her. I don't want anything bad to happen or that. This whole thing was just a big misunderstanding, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you cutting this guy so much slack? I mean, there's so much motive here I could drown in it. Christina lied to him. She put on a dress that he bought for her, went after another guy, made him look like a complete idiot. You excited about Harvard, Kiefer? It's not fun to be made a fool of, is it? And that's why you did it. That's why you beat her. Because you think she deserved it. I told all the guys about Christina. You know, how she's, how she's smart and, and beautiful, and you wouldn't even know her father's a criminal. <laughs> I love Christina. I wanted them to see why. Instead, she just made me look like an idiot. Oh, man, I, I can't even imagine what that'd be like, hanging out at that party after she stood you up like that. Yeah, well, I, I was the only guy without a date, so, yeah. So you left the party early, went to her house, and beat the crap out of her. Okay, that is, that is not what happened at all. I stayed at the party for a while. When did you leave? It was, it was at least 11, maybe later. I, I don't know for sure. Where'd you go? How could I be so stupid? I just wanted to talk to her. Look, Kiefer, no one's blaming you for anything here. This is, you got a raw deal, man. <laughs> just wanted to ask her why. I mean, I thought you canceled because you were mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? How should I know? But you beat her up instead, didn't you? No. No. No, you're hurting me! What? All right, all right, take it easy. Why don't you just tell us what, what really happened? I... I got there pretty late. Molly answered the door and said Kay was in the hospital. You're lying. You'd been there earlier. No, why would he go back to the house if he'd already beaten Christina up? I, I wanted... You were, you were afraid that you'd killed her, weren't you? It isn't like that. Everybody knows that Ethan didn't do it, okay? It's just a matter of time. The truth is gonna come out, man. Christina is gonna crack, and when she does, Harvard is not gonna protect you from the reach of Sonny Corinthos. But a jail cell night, if you want a future, you better confess. Lulu, can you make an appointment for Fetty's Bijan? But Kate is mad at Federico. I know, but we need to win him back by November. Maybe throw in an herbal wrap. There's a people spa right next to the doggy spa. It's in the West Village. Oh, Spinelli, did you get those back issues of Prima Bella? Yeah, I retrieved in waiting. So what are you up to? I'm going to study what they've been doing with their fall lines for the last 10 years so we can destroy them in November. Hey, do you think you can get that Native American designer from Brooklyn, the one who specializes Leah in... Leah Hightower, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to convince Kate to put her on the cover. Well, what about Federico? I'm going to have him practically begging to come back. So you can go with someone else? Yes. That'll teach him to stab me in the back while I'm stuck in a storm drain with Spinelli. My heart is overflowing to see Fairmax Mista full of life once again. Well, there's one good thing about almost dying. I appreciate my job and my friends and my non-husband so much more. I feel very lucky. I Look, I'm not going to admit to anything I didn't do. Was that the first time you'd hit her? We've been beating her for a while now. I didn't. Maybe you lost your temper, got carried away. I mean, if you did do it, and I'm not saying you did, but if you did, maybe this is a good time to uh, tell your side of the story. Wait a minute, you guys are working together, aren't you? I cannot believe I fell for this. Hey, Kiefer. I shouldn't need to tell you this, but you stay the hell away from my sister, at least until this whole mess is cleared up. Yeah, go to hell. All right. just about the same man. You did it. Son of a bitch beat Christina. <laughs> and she blamed Ethan to try to protect him. That's why she was so scared. What, you mean of Kiefer? No. Scared of what her father might do. Well, it makes sense, in a way. You know, blame the wrong guy, then get the charges dropped. Yeah, and hope the whole thing just goes away. Now, we're still pretty short on evidence, but we definitely scared him. He's gonna start scrambling to try to cover his tracks and that's when he's gonna make a mistake give us what we need to charge yeah, you know we gotta keep the pressure on this guy because there's no way i'm letting that spoiled little punk get away with beating up my sister so how's the sauna coming along must be almost finished by now i can't wait to use it uh the work has been suspended in your absence what 
Jason is so inconsiderate. Never mind that the sauna would be good for my poor little lungs. That steam would be amazing for your Achilles, and we would have some privacy. Uh, well, you'll probably be able to get plenty of privacy at our place, because I'm going to be spending lots of time at Dante's. Ew. Ordinarily, you'd need to clear this with a doctor, but under the circumstances... Who are you? Are you Maxie Jones? No. <laughs> that would be me. Well, you've been summoned to testify in the Corinthos trial. <coughs> I'm gonna put a bunch of powder on your face so you look pale so you don't have to testify. Oh, that's the thanks I get for taking care of the bags under your eyes where you were sitting vigil for Dante. Hey, Spinelli, do you think you could go talk Epiphany into getting me an oxygen mask? Oh, and when you get back, maybe there's a way you can fix the machine so it looks like I'm having a relapse. I, I shall give it my best effort. Why are you going through all of this to keep from testifying against Sonny? Do you think that it's okay that he killed Claudia, that he shot Dante? I mean, what about Mac? He's not going to want you protecting Sonny. I don't want to have anything to do with any of this. I already gave my statement to the police, and that should be enough. Well, obviously it wasn't, and you know that Sonny did this. Whatever happens to Sonny is going to affect Jason, and that will affect Spinelli. So you're just going to be like everyone else and protect Sonny, no matter what he does? You do know that your hatred for Sonny will eventually spill out onto Dante. Well, that's okay, because Dante hates Sonny just as much as I do. I doubt that that's true. And if it is, which it probably is not, the last thing Dante needs is you going on and on about it. I don't. Your attitude speaks volumes, so I suggest you change it, unless you want oh to my lose your man. Are you serious right now? All those years you were so mad at Luke, did you want other people going around saying how they thought he was a bad father? That's a completely different situation. Just don't go around dissing your man's daddy, that's all I'm saying. Please. I love you. Is Ethan around? No, I sent him on a mission to annoy the quarter man. Did you find something out? I think so. Let's try to get a clear timeline. So you're not here to arrest your brother? No. I'm getting close to solving this thing, though. I want to get it right. For Ethan as well as everyone else involved. Warren and Melinda Bauer? We're in the middle of dinner. Should we call our attorney? Maybe it'd be simpler if I just call Garrett. No, oh, why don't you uh, just call the mayor? You can use my phone. I think I got his number in here. <laughs> I'll use my own. Thank you. What's the problem? Mm, putting together a timeline for the night Christina Davis was beaten. Okay, stop right there. I am not going to allow you to continue to harass my son because of a few misleading statements made by an unstable teenage girl. 